Thank you for tuning in once again guys and if you're new to the channel welcome aboard. So this video is filmed over two nights back to back. Um, you'll see why throughout the video. I hope there's enough content there. I am chasing a bass over £10 this year. Um, I've been doing quite a bit of fishing. I'll explain a bit more in the video. I hope you enjoy. Please do keep tuned and let's see what happens. But we're out in search and hoping for bass. Now you're gonna notice, I've got a stick in my hand. Um, it's to beat all them uh, people that come to my spot up. No, I'm only joking. Um, the stick is I'm gonna look for a few crabs along the bankment here whilst the rod's fishing. I've got it on the ratchet. I'm gonna look for a few crab, hopefully get a few crab for the bucket and a bit more bait. Because I've literally got five frozen crab and I've got five fresh crab. So I'm running really low on bait. Right then guys, I'm gonna make this as quick and short as possible because it's absolutely chucking buckets. So the rig that I'm using, I've shown it over and over and over, is the earth bar. Perfect rig for bass fishing, hound fishing. Where I can get away with it, I'll use this rig. It's basically a little bar of about two and a half inches, with a swivel at one end and a clip at the other end, which takes your lead. Your lead goes onto there, just like that, nice and simple. And this little piece here slides down. I've shown this in my videos over and over and over, but that's the earth bar. I've got that to about a two foot length, two and a half foot length of uh, 35 pound amnesia. At the bottom of the hook, I've got a 2 size 2 o hook, and then on the top, I've got a 3 o the reason for that is that way I'm opening my options if there's any flounder or anything about for the small hook and then the big beefier hook is at the top to sort the bigger fish out hopefully. So guys a few might be wondering about the big stick at the start of the video and all that is for basically is to move the weed out of the way um, along this along the channel here and then you find look at that big soft crab there. So if you remember, I said in the start of the video, that there like jelly, look at that, perfect, proper bass food. So yeah, if you remember in the start of the video, I said I had five crab uh, frozen and five fresh. Now we've got a bucket full, well not a bucket full, but a bucket full of jelly crab, lovely jellies. A couple of peelers there, look at that, coming out of its shell as we speak. So yeah, the bait's good, but the fishing's shite. But hopefully on the flood in another hour, the bass will turn up here. Eh? Well guys, it's now right at the bottom of low water. I've picked myself a bucket full of crab, which is a little bit earlier on. But uh, I'll just see if I can show you that. A bucket full of crab. Um, now, a little pointer or something really that I'm going to point out. I found them crabs looking underneath the weed. So the stick basically just to move the weed, save bending down on the back. You will come across tyres and um, get rim pipes when you're out and around these sort of marks. It won't tonight because the tide's too small, it won't go out far enough. But they are crab traps that belong to people. Now, in no manner do you go through other people's crab traps. It's uh, basically, it's low of the low. It's something you don't do, and you will get a good thump off uh, some of the lads that own them tramps, uh, traps. Sorry, uh, I've got tramp stuck in my head now because to go through somebody else's stuff like that, that's what it is, basically. You shouldn't be doing things like that. Um, there's no need. As you see, I've found a nice bucket of crab. I just moved it away. It is hard work, don't get me wrong. But you can set your own traps, that's, you know, by all means, but, um, yeah, it's important that, that you don't go through people's traps. And, uh, yeah, you can buy crab, you can, you know, it's quite important when you're chasing fish, like big bass. Now, I believe you catch more bass on worm, but I believe the bigger fish fall to crab or a mackerel, you know, a live mackerel, live baiting in the warmer months when things really do kick off. Anyway, I'm going to have a cup of coffee, a cake, and let the tide flood, and hopefully we'll see a fish on the flood. There's been nothing on the ebb. I did have one slack liner, but 
it might have been just a doggy or anything picking up the baits so uh, we'll see what happens we'll fish the flood for about two hours and then i'll have to head home because it is coming up to 11 o'clock now and i do have work in the morning so uh, yeah let's see what happens on the flood day guys let's see what happens on the flood moving into the second night after last night's disastrous blank so guys please be advised this type of mark is not advised to the novice angler please do fish with somebody with some experience of the areas please do take your time and please learn your ground safety comes before any fish i have got company with me here tonight i've got good friend disco dan so guys throughout the evening here now the wind's going to be horrendous but do keep in tune and let's see if that silver turns up well i'm not gonna lie guys it's uh, taking a bit of effort to find one with last night being a blank I've missed a couple tonight and then just had oh, oh wait there we made it dark sorry can we see yeah yeah just had a nice little schoolie not very big about I don't know a pound or so lovely little clean fish took a massive crab bait but uh it is going back right here look if you want to come down here I'll show you it going back session after like i say last night blank film is really hard work in this type of venue guys but it's a silver to screen took the crab bait let's see if we can get that big girl that we're looking for take time if it's a 10 pounder dan you're going swimming mate <laughs> oh what's going on here oh oh shall i or shall i not uh, Shall I or shall I not? Shall I or shall I not? What's that, Dan? Dan? What's that? <laughs> Struggling a little bit to get through the doggies. There's a lot of doggies here on this mark tonight, lads and boys and girls. A lot of doggies. But working through them, hopefully, we'll get into the bass. Had the one, and uh, hopefully, we'll pick up another one. A big one, eh? We're after that big one. Looking for that big one. This go down now. A bit of action here on the rod. We're gonna have, we're gonna have. Bye bye. Fucking dogs, yeah. Another doggy. Whoa, that went straight over then, guys. I was having some small rattles on the big crab bait again. I'm not sure if it feels like a dog, to be honest. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a dog. It's not moving side to side or anything like that. Just a heavy lump of a weight. I'd say it's a doggy, to be honest. Let's have a look. Yep, another dogfish, struggling to get through them a little bit. That's just had a white tin there now, an absolutely cracky white tin for accuracy to be fair. as yet guys it's uh coming up to one o'clock in the morning now and i have got work in the morning uh, so we're going to give it a little bit longer on the flood here now and then hopefully we may get another silver before the end of the night yeah. Yeah. well you might notice guys the tide's now flooding We've come off the rocks and we've moved to the beach. We've had a few doggies, we're struggling with the doggies. And I've just had a cracking tea and I'm hoping this is a bass. I'm hoping.
a little silver. Yet again, only a small one, but a nice little silver bar, good condition, and uh, one that'll go back again. But uh, hopefully, on the flood now, we may pick a couple more. So over the last couple of weeks without filming, I've had some cracking bass to just under five pound. Guys, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this short video of fishing for the bass on Anglesey. Unfortunately, I ran out of time and I forgot to say goodnight. So for ne till next time, guys, keep safe, keep fishing, keep chasing them dreams. Thank you for tuning in.